Welcome. Let's have a go at setting up some new issue formats in x ray Transmit. We'll begin by opening the settings dialog. Going to the formats tab. And here we can see the profiles that we have set up in our system. I've set up an example profile that we can modify. So in this profile there's currently three different format options. We have a DWFX combined file option and it has some various options. We have a PDF for A1 and we have a PDF that converts A1 to A3. Um, but we have no DWG and we have no A3 PDF formats. So let's begin by trying to set up a DWG format. So to set up a new format we choose add, tell it what format we want, so in this case we want DWG, we'll give it a name, so I like to call it DWG and then a description on it, so we'll call it DWG 2007. Alright, so now if we open the dialog, we've tried to make the default options um, for new formats as useful as possible. So what do we want to happen when um, with our layers and properties? Do we want all layers by layer with new layers for overrides? That's generally what I recommend. So we'll leave it at that. Um, to what export layers file do we want to use? So in this circumstance we may want to select our company export layers file. So I'm going to browse and I've got my export layers for my company. I can set my naming convention. Uh, to me that looks fine, so I've got my project number, my sheet number and my revision. Let's just go through it and do that again from scratch. So I actually want all my DWGs to go into a DWG subfolder. So to do that I'm going to put DWG backslash. So in our output location we'll now get a DWG subfolder created. I can then select my naming convention, so I want the project number, then I might want to put a dash in, then I might put from the sheet, the sheet number. So in here you can see we've got all the different sheet parameters as an option, um, and then we've also got down the bottom custom sheet um, parameters. So they could be shared parameters, they could be uh, project parameters that are specific to this project. So I'm going to use the sheet number, uh, and then in brackets I'm going to have the current revision, so I'm going to put left bracket, put in the current revision, and close the bracket. Okay, um, I'm actually going to change that, I just want that revision. Alright, so we've got our DWG format, we can set our colours that we want it in, how we're going to deal with line type scaling, what version, so we did want AutoCAD 2007, what coordinate system are we going to use, what units is it going to be in, so I'm in Australia, so it's metric for me, so millimetres, uh, do I want to have extra views on sheet and do I want rooms and areas exported as polylines, so Everything else is pretty much right in terms of what I wanted as a fault. Um, we can go back and we could rename this format if we wanted to, but basically that's the DWG done. So let's have a look at doing a PDF. So I'm going to choose Add. This time we're going to select PDF and I'm going to call it PDF A3. Okay, so expanding the options, what's the PDF printer? We use the Bio PDF printer as XREVs transmit standard format printing. Uh, again, I'm going to put a subfolder in here, so I want it to go into a PDF subfolder. You can see we can choose to combine selective views and sheets into a single file. If we do that, we need to make sure that we don't have sheet specific um, tags in the or tokens in the naming convention, because naturally it's going to vary. Uh, set a paper size, so I want A3. You can see there's lots of different paper size options. We've got 
all the imperial options as well as metric ISO standards. Um, how we want it to be laid out, so we want it so it's landscape, we want it to be in the center, 100% zoom. Um, generally, we want vector processing, presentation quality, colors, and then I by default I want to hide all that information, but I don't want to replace half, half tone with thin lines. So we'd like to have your feedback on if those def generally these default settings are useful. Um, that's sort of typically what I've used in the past. So hopefully um, that's pretty close for you as well. And that's basically it. So we close our compress our little expander up and we hit OK. So now we've got those new formats to select from. Uh, that's it. Thanks.